hello, I'm Shadow, and I'm going to be reading crack fan fiction today. Oh god, why? Um, it's based on Percy Jackson fan fiction. I don't like Percy Jackson myself, but my friend gave this to me to read aloud, and I promised I would. So here we go. Jason walked into the Zeus cabin to find a note on his bed. Jason, it read, please meet me at Zeus's first fist at at 7 p.m. Love Brick. Jason sighed happily. Him and the Brick had been dating for a few months secretly, and Jason loved the Brick more than he could imagine. He even wrote fan fiction of him and the Brick, but not Lemons. Lemons were gross. Jason put on the item of clothing that he thought looked best on him. A simple striped button-up shirt and his best, cleanest, least smelly pair of jeans. Just then, Piper entered the cabin. Hey, Jason, she said cheerfully, then frowned when noticing how he was dressed. Going somewhere? Uh, no, not really. Jason scratched the back of his head, trying to act casual. He really sucked at lying. Hmm, sure. Piper smiled and walked over, kissing him on the cheek. Well, have fun. She walked out of the cabin, and Jason breathed a sigh of relief. He couldn't wait for 7 p.m. Just so you know, this is an actual brick. Like, a stone, like a brick used to build a house. <sighs> okay. The brick waited patiently on a blanket set out on the beach, facing the waves. The sun was setting and made for a rather romantic scene. Brick couldn't wait for Jason to get there, as it had planned this event for a while now. Flashback. Brick? Jason and the brick were sitting in the top of in the top branches of a tree the branches bathed in moonlight the brick was propped up bleh, propped up against an intersecting branch as t do not fall off and get hurt i i love you would you do me the honor of being your boyfriend jason asked gazing tenderly at the brick's sun-dried clay you would that's great some people thought jason was a little crazy but Jason knew he and the Brick had a special connection. Piper? Oh, don't worry about Piper. I'm sure she'll understand. And since that day, Jason had been cheating on his girlfriend with a Brick. But he insisted it wasn't cheating since it was a uh, Brick. <sighs> Gosh. Recap. Brick couldn't wait for Jason to get here. As it, he, she, had planned this event for a while now. Jason showed up at precisely 7.01, panting and out of breath. Sorry, Brick, he mumbled, leaning over and giving it a small kiss. I was held up. Jason sur surveyed the perfect picnic by the sea and smiled. Brick knew exactly what Jason liked. It was no wonder they were soulmates. You did this all for me? Jason looked at the Brick tenderly and gazed into its clay. Thank you. The two sat by the ocean for a while, gazing at the the ocean crashing against the shore. Jason ate some food and offered some to the brick, who politely declined, claiming not to be claiming not to be hungry. Brick, I think I should tell you something. Jason looked over to the brick with pained eyes. I'm sorry, but I think I'm pregnant. And it's yours. Yep, yep, that's happening. Isn't it adorable? Jason asked tenderly, holding a newborn baby brick in his hands, craving it. He cradled it gently. Let's go tell Percy. You, you what? <laughs> Percy was laughing so hard his face was red. He doubled over and fell to the soft dirt, rolling on his side. Um, Jason sh and shielded his baby brick, not not wanting it for, not wanting for it to associate with crazy people. Annabeth was on her new laptop, which Leo had redesigned and paid absolute no attention to Brick, to Jason or his Brick. Jason, uh, Annabeth? Annabeth, yeah? Uh, I just had a baby. Her name is Bricky. That's nice. It's a Brick. Cool. I'm marrying the Brick tomorrow. It's true. He was. Leo had even graciously accepted... Accepted to be the ring man. 
After all, Leo was the first one to know about Jason's and the Bricks' secret relationship after spying on them and together in the restaurant. But how would Hazel and Frank respond? <sighs> Jason? Yeah? Jason looked into Piper's eyes. That's the funniest thing I've heard all day! <laughs> Piper broke down laughing, her face turning dangerously red. Jason frowned. He wasn't expecting this reaction. Shouldn't Piper be more concerned he was breaking up with her? All right? Jason questioned. Well, when's the wedding? Piper was still struggling to keep a straight face. Next week. Jason's expression was serious, but in a happy way. I'm excited. Will you attend? Leah's going to be the groomsman. Uh, sure. So, you're okay about all this? Jason questioned. He was a... He was a war... He was worried a bit about Piper. Okay. Oh no, it's fine. Piper laughed, waving a hand dismissively. That's good. I gotta go. I gotta get back to my brick now. Jason started to walk away when Piper here called out to him. Oh, Jason, is the brick a boy or a girl? A boy, but I'm not positive yet. Then how are you pregnant? Jason gasped and placed a hand tenderly on his stomach. Are you implying I'm faking? I'm sure I found a kick before. No, no, of course not. I just think someone needs to give you the talk about the birds and the bees. Mutter, Piper muttered the last part to herself, mentally rolling her eyes at the stupidity of her ex-boyfriend. Bye, Pipes. Bye. Jason rubbed his stomach. She's just jealous, he whispered, stroking his belly. Oh, he can wait for the wedding. Do you, Jason Grace, take this brick to be your waff lawfully wedded wife, partner in sickness and in health, to love and to hold till the both of you die? I do. And do you, Brick Brickson, brick, brick. <laughs> take Jason to be your lawfully wedded partner in sickness and health, to love and hold? And to hold till the both of you die, Jason stared at the brick for a moment before announcing to Hera, who was conducting this wedding, that the brick said yes to. All right, you two are married. I'm going to go before this gets weirder. Hera stormed off, leaving Jason and the brick standing on a hill overlooking New Rome with others such as the Seven, Nico, Chiron, Chiron, and Reyna. Duh! Everyone cheered as Jason picked up the brick and kissed it tenderly. Of course, it had been washed earlier today. Hey, congrats, bro! Leo who came up, grinning goofily for Jason. He slapped him on the back heartily, and was followed by Percy, Frank, and a half-hearted Nico. Stop right there! Everyone turned around to find Octavian, the annoying auger standing in the middle of all, pointing at the brick. That's my girlfriend! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm reading this. I'm actually reading this. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I can get through this. I can get through this. There's only... There's only, like, three more chapters. I can do this. Recap. Stop right there! Everyone turned around to, to find Octavian, the annoying auger standing in the middle of it all, pointing at the brick. That's my girlfriend! What do you mean?! Jason cried, looking angry at, angrily at the brick. Are you cheating on me with him? Octavian stood near the two, his, his hands on his hips. Was that brick? Jason asked, peering curiously at the brick, who was still in his arm. Octavian, brick is breaking up with you, Jason announced. Octavian's face turned a bright red, and he drew his sword. Some claim they could actually see steam come out of his ears. Allie, I challenge you to fight for the brick's hand. Fine, here, hold this. Jason handed the brick to Frank, who looked slightly perturbed. Charge! Before anyone saw it coming, Jason and Octavian collided, falling over and wrestling each other on the hard ground. Out of the corner of her eye, Annabeth saw Raina face palm, shaking her head at the two boys. That's me right there. Both were yelling obs obscenities arguing about who the brick loved more, and the occasional yo mamic joke was also heard. Everything came to a dramatic halt 
and the two teens began rolling down the hill faster and faster, unable to stop. Yeah! They both yelled out as they landed face first into a pile of fresh elephant poop. How was that there? And while that was happening, Percy was at the top of his hill at the top of the hill, rolling around on the ground with laughter. He couldn't take it anymore. The sight of uh, Jason Octavian with a face full of poop was just... Yeah, as if on cute. Who, a bright light flashed, and God appeared. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there was a brilliant flash of light, and suddenly, a God appeared. Bow before me, he bellowed, adjusting his toga, for I'm the mighty god of bricks, Brickaris. Everyone bowed to the god, who was wearing a brick on his head like a mighty warrior. Lord, Annabeth stepped up to the god. We have a slight problem, for Annabeth could say any more. Brickaris interrupted her. The brick rightfully belongs to Jason, it said without mincing words. What? Everyone turned to see Octavian screeching, his face covered in elephant waist. I'm sorry, Octavian. But we now, but we must now vanquish you. Rickerus held out a hand and Octavian disappeared in a flash of light. Everyone was silent. No one had the guts to tell Octavian off, but now he was gone. Well, woo, they all partied till 1 a.m. Jason woke up the next morning, his head all fuzzy. Last night was wild. But why blame him? He had just got married after Hall. After getting washed and dressed, Jason walked out to see everyone on their phones, laughing their heads off. What's so funny? he asked Dakota, who was standing nearby. Dakota, choking on his own laughter, handed Jason the phone. Playing was a video of Jason in the brick making out passionately. The image was grainy, but you could clearly see it was Jason. That's personal, he yelled, stamping his foot. Not a moment sooner, Piper sauntered up to Jason, brick in her hand. She threw it at his head. Never cheat on your girlfriend with a brick again. Wait, what happened? Jason was woozy, but still, he'll standing. Aphrodite may or may not have cast a spell to make you fall in love with a brick. Wait, what? Never cheat on a girl whose mom is Aphrodite. With that being said, Piper turned around and sauntered away while everyone cheered on. Jason's hand reached out as he woke up, feeling groggy. He sat up in his bed in Zeus's cabin, rubbing his eyes. What a weird dream, Jason thought, noticing something out of the corner of his eyes. Beside him, on his pillow, lay a single red brick. Oh my gosh. I just read that. That was Jason and the Brick, a brace and love story by Corey Tyler on Wattpad. Oh, there's an alternate ending. A heap of sparkles and glitter fell on Jason as he sat up. They rested in his hair, going up his nose and choking him. A moment later, a dozen rubber ducks began to fill the Zeus cabin, the state of, of Zeus seeming to make them appear from the stone hand. Jason screamed, but it was too late. He drowned in a state of glitter and rubber ducks good way to die but yeah i just read that and i'm disappointed in myself but oh well and that happened oh well okay um, again my name is shadow and i just read a brace jason and the brick brace and love story by cory tyler on wattpad